Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Half-Life, so we're still on uh, surface tension, at least for right now. There we go. Okay, so we're still on surface tension for right now. Uh, still got a for a while to go to get uh, to the next chapter, because this chapter is pretty long. I think it's the longest in the series, I, actually. Maybe followed too, but maybe followed by the second chapter of... Uh, it might be uh, followed by uh, this Vortal Coil uh, in episode 2, in terms of length. I don't know, I'm not, not entirely sure. Maybe like Highway 17 from Half-Life 2 or something. I don't necessarily know. But it's still a long fucking chapter. Anyways. Oh, hi. Type in your code. Thank you. Now give me your pistol ammo. Alright. And now we get a fair bit of goodies. Especially for right now. Really difficult to miss this, I mean. It's right on your way. But yeah, we can get a lot of uh, good uh, goodies uh, through that storage room, which is quite nice. Um, anyways, I don't think we're supposed to be in this building, so we're going to head over here. Okay, I guess we are supposed to be in this building, because uh, I can hear things. Uh, I think we're actually supposed to go out like, the window over here, I don't remember exactly, but maybe... Yeah, we are supposed to go out here. Or maybe things over here. No, I don't think there's anything over there. Kind of forget the way you're supposed to go in this area. Yeah, we're supposed to go over here. So we can jump over to here and climb this ladder. Isn't it funny how progress works like that? Now, I think there are some military guys, uh in there. So I shall absolutely massacre all of them. Like one. Epic. Alright. You can open that door, which just takes it back outside, and over here is just a single health packet. Actually, multiple health packets in this small uh, one-off area, because you know that's how that's how logic works, everyone. That's just how it works. Anyways, uh, we can uh, get back up here because that's not the way to progress, and uh, we are uh, just gonna fall right off there because a very smart smart person I am. Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Fuck. Uh, can I please just jump? I guess I can't jump. Okay, I'm just gonna get my, make my way over here. To get over here. To get over here. There we go, that's how, that's how you do it. That's my tutorial for Half-Life. I will see you sometime later. <clears throat> Alright. I have to launch a few explosives your way. Damn it, I missed. Okay, there we go. I couldn't see there for a moment. Fuck. Anyways, I'm gonna run my ass over here and explode you. Okay, can't get in there, so indeed shall go over here. I'm really good at commentating over things now, aren't I? Can't get in there. So yeah, we need to use this uh, explosive gun to blow the ever-loving fuck out of this door, which will open it. Hooray. Right. 
Hit scanners, am I right? Alright, now I'm gonna get their ammo and hurry the fuck up. Out of there. Alright. Now we're on to this. Now. Pick up these med kits and go. Yeah, that's not fun. Not very fun at all. Uh... Well, fuck. What the hell is that? I don't fucking know. Anyways, we, we fly up here. Can get up here. And absolutely fall. Only we can get over here. Probably back away from when I, uh, explored. here we go. There we are, come on. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna jump onto these boxes, get some health, which is always nice. And we shall move on as per the usual. Oh, and this area is fun as well. Because guess what? Snarks! Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna... Fuck, they immediately start coming at you. Snarks are so fucking bad in this game. Yeah, eventually they'll explode. As you just heard. There's a bunch of them in this crate. Yeah, this is a very stupid section right here. The snark section with the fucking grate. Very dumb. Get a few of these large snarks. I don't know what the fuck is. What what, what is this? Like, you know, you go to get the snarks, and then what is this large thing? I I don't understand it. Gotta take it very carefully in this. Okay. Really now. Okay. Oh. Ow, fuck, are you fucking serious? Okay. So yeah, we kinda can't go out there. Otherwise, we'll get absolutely massacred. So it looks like that, uh, fell. 
So it looks like uh, we can get on top of here to, uh, I just realized I should, uh, I should heal before I leave this area. It'd be quite detrimental if I didn't. Okay, and then you get on top of that. Ha ha ha, you can't get me. Not that easily. And, uh, we can absolutely explode this door. And, oh boy, we get another one of those guys. The grunts, I think they're called. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember. They take quite the beating. Only if they could get over here. I guess he won't. Okay, I guess uh, he just didn't want to at all. Now this seems like a lot of fun. Now he's dead. And come down here. And, uh... Well, you don't really want to come down here, because there's nothing down here. So, let's go back up. And, uh... God damn it. And let's go over here instead. Five health and move on. That's not a good thing. Come on. Fuck. Come on. There we go. Yeah, they're a pain in the ass to deal with. Uh. Actually, I should just use my, uh, sniper rifle. That would be a better idea. Haha. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's dead. And now I shall descend. And I lost the small bit- of I lost health from that. Nice. There is absolutely nothing over here except for a locked door, because that's how Half-Life works. Okay, uh... Yeah, once again, another locked door. It's kind of a running theme throughout this game. Um, so, we're supposed to use this jump pad here. The jump pads are really weird in this game. They, like, work sometimes. They don't work most of the time. I'm getting absolutely fucked by another grunt here. I at least I think they're grunts. I sh I really need to look that up. I don't. I'm just very dumb. All right, let's get through here. Nothing bad can happen in here. Oh no. That's not good. Well, guess what? Bitch, I'm still alive.
One thing I like about this game is that it really shows you, like, not only are you fighting the alien forces, but also the military are fighting the alien forces, so, you know, it's like you're both having to deal with, you know, the same thing, essentially. It's something I like about, uh, this game. Technically, it ha Actually, no, not really. About to say it also happens in the second game, but not really. I'm just dumb. As per usual. Anyways. Let me jump through this pipe a little bit. And get gunned down by this guy right here. Yep, stay alert. That's what you should have been doing. You dumbo. Stand back. Hello. How it do? Roger that. Let's run like hell. Let's get the hell out of here. Now, there's an interesting glitch that happens here. You see. Here, I'll let you get through there. When, uh, you get hit by a door in this, uh... Okay, I guess I won't be able to do it for right now. I'll be able to do it in the next door, I know, for sure. Okay, so... Kill those guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll it now. So we, we hurry on into this room right here. I save. And, uh... Here, I'm gonna do, the, do it the alternate way. So, it's time to explain this. If you get stuck in a door... Uh, if you get stuck in a door on this map specifically... Uh, you will continue to infinitely get health as long as you stay in the door. Normally, uh, doors take away uh, one health when you get stuck in them, like plus one health, like at each second or something like that. But uh, on this map specifically, it uh, gives you plus one health. So, as long as you stay in this door, you will continue to be healed until uh, you step out of the door. And I'm going to use this exploit for the rest of the game because I'm a douchebag. So I'm going to pause and wait here for a good while. So, uh, jump cut hood. Alright, I'm back. It's been approximately forever. So I now pretty much have enough health. Uh, as I need for the rest of the game. Uh, yeah. Just this. Just gonna quick save to save that health in. And yeah, we now have pretty much all the health that we need for the rest of the game. No more. No more running low on health. Anyways, a big scary thing from uh, uh, Power Up chasing us now. So it's time we do something about that. Now we have to jump over. Oh man. Into here? No. Gotta jump over into here. You copy? Forget about Freeman. We're abandoning the base. If you have any last bomb targets, mark them on the tactical map. Otherwise, get the hell out of there. Repeat, we are pulling out and commencing air strikes. Give us targets or get below. So it looks like the military is pulling out, so, yeah. So we need to bomb a few things so we can progress forwards. Um, this should be just fine. I also want to bomb up there. And now I shall bomb the big bad guy. Uh, 
This map is very weird. That should be... Oh, fuck. Damn it. I want to get him. Okay, that should be- no. Please let it be good enough. It was just slightly above, God damn it. Come on. There we go. That's more like it. Anyways, uh, now... We gotta find some sort of way into there. Damn it. No. Uh, I forget how I'm supposed to... what I'm supposed to bomb here exactly, but... Uh, actually... Nah, that's way too, uh... Steep. Maybe we jump across. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Actually, I think I have a good idea of how to do it. Fuck. Yeah, these bounce pads are... very weird. Shit. Okay. Jump over here. Shit. Uh... I forget how you're supposed to actually do this. Um... I, I, I really forget. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to do that at all. Um... <clears throat> So, I mean, I have infinite health, so I shall just do a little bit of... I just realized I don't have any explosives, so I can't even do that. Shit. Well, I've got the, ne the next best option. So yeah, we can pretty much proceed through the game without giving much of a fuck about anything, which is always in my shit, yeah. Anyways, we now proceed on to the next chapter, Forget About Freeman. However, we're gonna have to do that in the next episode, so I will see you sometime later. Bye.